Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I did a triptych this morning with um, purple, pink and turquoise and the colours were amazing. Um, and I've had leftovers. Um, so I've just been looking at them all day. So it's now evening, just got the children into bed. So I'm just desperate to try another painting with similar colours. Um, I'm going to do a complete experiment. Um, I'm going to use those three colours, but I've also added some more colours here. I'll show you in just a second. I've got some little um, 20 by 20 centimetre canvases and I'd like to put in my kitchen, I'd like to put three, one on top of the other, but I can't decide between flip, flip, flip cups or straight pours. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do three of each. Um, and just as an experiment, I've decided to layer up the cups in exactly the same way. The flip cup, I'll put silicon in. The straight pour, I won't. And then pour, pour them out and flip them up and down um, just to see what difference we get. So exactly the same colours, exactly the same order, exactly the same um, amount of layering in the cups just as an experiment, just to see what, what will happen. It'll be really interesting. So the colours I'm using, um, I've got five Pebio Studio Acrylics. So we've got gold, we've got Payne's Grey, um, iridescent green blue, silver and the violet blue, um, iridescent. I've got um, Amsterdam Violet Light, um, Graduate Acrylic Thalo Turquoise, I've got a uh, mid blue uh, by Essentials Royal and Langnickel Cerulean Blue. And then I've got four of my Montmartre colours. So turquoise, white, magenta and purple. That's a lot of colours, an awful lot of colours. Um, each canvas I'm planning on um, layering up just one cup. So I've got here laid out, uh, laid out just a really small amount of each colour. Um, so I'll um, get you down having a look at this um, and then I'll layer up the cups. I've got all my paints um, laid out just in front of me here. Um, so we start with the white, the green, blue, silver, violet, magenta, Payne's grey, gold, the phthalo turquoise in there, cerulean blue, the uh, violet blue, purple, oh, I can't get you the end there, and turquoise on the end. So that's the order I'm going to put them in. I might swap things around a little bit as we go. I might put a little bit of the Payne's grey um, in, different, um, in different places. Let's get this camera straight again. Great, so I'm going to do three of these little canvases, so I'm going to layer up three cups. There's no silicon in this, um, so this is going to be for the straight pours. So the consistency is quite thick this time, um, because I don't want the colours to mix. So I have mixed here 50-50 um, paint and pouring medium. The pouring medium is my homemade um, PVA glue and water pouring medium, and... For that, I've used two thirds PVA glue, one third water. The, they came out quite thick, especially the metallics and the iridescence. So I have watered them down and I have tried to get them all a really similar consistency. So I'm just starting to, to layer up. So I kind of wanted to um, do something that matched the painting as I did this morning, the trip took I did this morning, because um, this room is quite bare at the moment. We had an extension about a year ago um, to uh, extend the house to make a big um, kitchen diner area, um, which is just amazing, but it's just lacking any artwork at the moment, which seems crazy because I've got so much artwork lying around in the house, but. I want something very specific for um, for in here. So the idea is that the um, triptych this morning will go on the main wall and then I've got another little wall where I thought I could put three little panels. Um, have to see how they turn out. My husband's not too keen on the idea. He doesn't think the wall is big enough, but um, hopefully I will talk him round. Well, we'll see how they come out.
So these cups are looking absolutely gorgeous. So many gorgeous bright colours in there. Really happy with the way that looks. So I'm going to layer up the paints now for the um, flip cups. I'm going to put in one drop of uh, spot on treadmill silicone into each um, cup. Great, so and then just going to do exactly the same again. So now up in just exactly the same way. So my canvases are all ready. I've put little push pins in the back. I've leveled all these canvases. I was, I was absolutely amazed. I put the level on one of them and it was totally unlevel. I just assumed being a tiny canvas it would be fine, but it, it wasn't. So I've had to adjust the push pins um, to get them really level. So the first three I'm going to do are my straight pours. Um, let's leave that there. So what I would normally do is put a puddle down in the middle, but there is so much paint in here, I just think that would be a total waste of time. Um, I'm just going to go for it. Um, I'm going to do a straight pour as opposed to a ring pour. I'm just going to pour it straight in the centre. Wow, that looks amazing. There's an awful lot of paint on here. I'm going to be I'm going to be tilting off a lot of this paint. Wow, the colors are incredible. Let me see if I can um show you because it's such a small canvas. I can pick it up. Let me see if I can show you. Wow, these colors are gorgeous. Because it's already sliding off, I think I'm going to tilt this one before I pour the others. I'm going to give it a quick torch. You can see quite a few air bubbles. Wow. 
far too much paint on here. But never mind, better to have too much than not enough. And at least that way I can really play around with the composition. I don't want to tilt any of it off though, this is beautiful. A lot of this is going to go, which is really sad. Okay, I'm just going to have to go for it. Oh, it's so nice working with a tiny canvas. This is the smallest canvas I've ever used. Wow, this is amazing. I'm loving this. Let me turn it round so I can tilt it off towards you, towards the camera. This is absolutely amazing. These colours are incredible. So I thought I'd put too many colours in, or I wondered if I had, but no, I don't I don't think so. There is so much shimmer in this. Um, just looking at the composition, I need to check my corners. My corners aren't actually fully covered. There's this amazing patch here where there's you can see like a, the underlying colour. It's really interesting. And then this really dark, intense bit here. Wow, I'm really pleased with this. It'll be so interesting to see how all the others turn out. Um, composition wise, I'm just gonna go slightly further down to that corner, I think. I'll just open up that green section slightly in this corner. And I think I'm just gonna leave it. Right, I'm just about to start my flip cups, but just to show you um, what I do with my leftover paint, there is so much paint here. Um, I just get my spatula and literally just scoop it up. Um, it will make an interesting colour. I might not like the colour, I don't know, once it's all mixed together. But it just means I don't have to waste all this paint. Um, often with, with straight pours or flip cups, I put paint around or underneath as a puddle or around the edge of the paint as I'm tilting it out so it doesn't matter what color you use so it's this is really good paint to use for that because you just it, I just don't like wasting paint so and you can see that I've got cling so this is my worktop and then I've got um wipe down mats which are filthy but then I've got cling film over the top so it just it wipes off really easily and I use the cling film because then I can just wrap it up at the end and put it straight in the bin. So this is making quite a nice bluey type of sort of colour, isn't it? Little bluey grey colour with a bit of shimmer in it. I can see it sparkling. So there's quite a bit of paint in there, ready for another pour on another day. Right, flip cup time.
Right, just give that a minute. Just gonna just let a little bit of air out because then it just helps the paint to start um, coming down the inside, inside the cup. Right, here's the fun bit. So how am I going to take this off? I think I'm just going to let it tip it and let the paint fall out, do what it wants. Just going to do a little bit more torching. I can see so many air bubbles and I can just see there's so much paint underneath the surface layer. I really want that to come up. I think a lot of artists don't like as many cells. I'm just a little bit addicted to getting as many cells as possible, rightly or wrongly. So the idea now with the tilting is to try and keep the cells as um, round as possible. So the way to do that is just to move the canvas back and forwards. If you just let the let all the paint flow in one direction, it will um, it will just completely distort and just stretch all the cells. So I'm just constantly moving it back and forwards. So let's try and get this, this edge dump and corner dump. So I've never done a flip cut on such a small canvas and I have to say it's amazing. Maybe because the amount of paint I've got on here um, is so high, maybe I just don't put enough paint on my normal flip cups. It is just so much easier to stretch out. I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now I'm just gonna go and wash my hands because I forgot to put gloves on and I've just got paint in my uh, wedding ring. Right, let me show you these now and go in for a real close-up. Um, so I, when I hang these, there'll be one on top of the other with a small gap in between. Um, now that is the gold. Look at the gold next to that really deep, rich, purpley, pinky colour and all those layers. 
I am so excited about this, you probably guessed by now. That is that colour, that really rich colour. It's amazing. And then the contrast of this white and green lacing. Look at all those amazing folds. And you can get a little bit of the idea of the sparkle as well. It looks very grainy on the video, but that is all going to be beautiful, beautiful sparkle when it's dry. Um, let's take you and show you this one. There is so many amazing patterns and lines. I mean, look at that deep pink right in the centre. It's really squashed into the centre, all of these beautiful folds. That's an amazing corner. And then there's just some really interesting lacing there. Can you see... It's, it's almost like you can see a pattern underneath the surface paint. So the surface paint is maybe slightly transparent and you can see underneath it. Um, ah, and this, this actually was the first one and I think I commented on it. There it is again, that really interesting wispy lacing. It's almost like a bit of a, a cobweb over the top. Very interesting. I really like that, the, the pink next to that Payne's grey, they go beautifully together. And look at all that shimmer. Cannot wait for these to dry. Wow, so let's move over to the um, three flip cups. I'm just incredibly happy with the shape and the size and the number of cells in this. So there is an awful lot of cells, but not so many that they haven't been able to stretch out because they have really stretched out beautifully. Again, if you see in those gold ones, you can see where the sparkle is going to be when this is dried. They are absolutely fascinating. I really like the gold. I'm so glad I put gold in these. I wasn't going to. I was just going to keep it to the turquoise pink and purple. But I'm so glad. This one, actually, this is the blue. That that light blue, you can see quite a lot of there. Right, the gold and the Payne's grey there in that corner. Now that I really like. That is beautiful. And that is one there right in the centre. It definitely looks like an eye. Right, my favourite cells of the whole three uh, flip cups have to be these. These pale purple, pinky, whitey, that little line of cells there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then last but not least, this was the first one that I um, tilted out. So this one really misses the gold. It's not a problem, there's a tiny bit of gold there, um, but it's just so interesting that there just isn't the gold. Um, really lovely turquoise and white and purple colours. So, what a brilliant evening I've had. I absolutely loved every second of making these. Um, so it was interesting to see what they're like when they're dry. And the big question is which is your favourite, the flip cups or the straight pours? Which should I hang in my kitchen? I just don't know. I'll be back when they're dry. They're now dry and I think for the first time ever I've done some paintings, they've dried and straight away I've hung them. This was the little wall space in between my kitchen window and my dining room window um, that I wanted to do the three paintings for. Um, they're hung. Um, they're amazing. I absolutely love them. Um, let's go in for a close-up so I can show you. Um, oh, let's get that to focus better. The detail is absolutely amazing. You can see the shimmer, so they're not, obviously not varnished yet, but you can see the shimmer, the silver there. You can see the shimmer throughout all these gold lines. Absolutely beautiful, the sort of um, lacing webbing effect there. 
Um, this is amazing, this turquoise and, and white, and I just love how neat that centre is. Um, just, just gorgeous. Um, let's go up to the middle one. Um, just look at those lines. It just almost looks a bit peacock feathery, doesn't it? And that, that purple. I love it. Um, I realised that this colour here, this is my favourite bit, this sort of colour, and that's where I've put the magenta um, next to the Payne's Grey. And it's come up with this really rich, sort of pinky purpley colour. Um, just absolutely adore it. I think I just love these three paintings. And then the top one, again, just look how neat this is and when this is varnished this is going to look absolutely beautiful and again there's that gorgeous color there with the magenta next to the Payne's grey so they're all they've all are sort of so similar but they're all completely different um so yeah hung straight away so let me show you their flip cups so you can see so this is my kitchen you can see those three little canvases hanging on that wall but the flip cups, I just couldn't, I couldn't decide between the two, so I've decided to hang both. So, here they are. So this is the snug area. I've got my um, TV down here, my um, sofa behind me. Um, and just look how well they blend with the splashback in the kitchen with the turquoise. Um, I just love them. I couldn't decide between the straight cups and the straight paws, so I've kept both and I've hung them both straight away. Now, the first thing you can see with this is the shimmer. Just look at all this amazing gold, the silver, the turquoise. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I love the gold. The gold was a bit of an afterthought in these and it looks quite yellowy, but it just brings some warmth to them. Um, look at this, just so many cells. Um, as you know, I'm quite a fan, oops, a fan of lots of cells. Not everybody is, so it's, it's very subjective, but I love the cells. Um, and they're quite subtle here because they're, there's not much contrast, which I quite like. And then going up to the third one, again, the shimmer. And when these are varnished, they're going to look gorgeous. Um, the pink has got a bit lost, with the exception of those couple of cells right up there. Um, I think I must have put the, the, the pink in last, so it came out first, so it was all tilted off the edge. Um, but there they are, happily hanging there. Definitely going to keep them. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know what you think of these. Um, and please hit the notification, uh, notification bell. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.